Hello and welcome to News Analytica. I am Afumi Ayalu and this is your News Analysis for the day. The world cannot afford a China-India war. On Friday, December 9, 2022, Indian and Chinese soldiers clashed on their disputed Himalayan border, which allegedly led to soldiers suffering minor injuries on both sides. So far, cooler heads have prevailed. In a statement India's Ministry of Defense said, soldiers from both sides sustained minor injuries in the face-off. It added, both sides immediately disengaged from the area and the country's respective commanders held a flag meeting to discuss the issue. The issue is also being addressed through diplomatic channels. China spokesperson Wang Wenbin said in a press briefing, the current situation was generally stable and asked India to abide by the spirit of relevant agreements signed by the two sides. China and India have existed in close proximity for thousands of years with surprisingly little political interaction for most of the time. However, the 20th century saw tensions between the two increase over disputed borders. There have been some, generally non-fatal territorial disputes in the past couple of years. Prior to the December 9 altercation, there was a military standoff in June 2020 and since then, the two sides have been negotiating to reduce tensions. As the Russia-Ukraine war has proven without a doubt, any conflict between major powers will have severe global implications, how relations between China and India will develop and play out is an important question for everyone in the 21st century. In today's news analysis, we will look briefly into India-China relations and the implications of escalating tensions. Stay with us. China and India are two of the world's oldest civilizations. Before the age of European colonization, China accounted for about 33% of the world's manufactured goods and India 25%. Today, India accounts for about 3% and China 28% of the global manufacturing output. As ancient civilizations, India and China coexisted in peace and harmony for millennium. But as post-colonial modern nation states, relations between the two Asian giants have been complicated, marked by conflict and cooperation, containment and trade, mutual suspicion and rivalry. Even so, India became the first non-socialist bloc country to establish diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China on April 1, 1950. Their 3,500 km long shared border has been a source of most of their conflicts. India and China have territorial disputes over 140,000 square kilometers of land. There have been border skirmishes dating as far as back 1959. But the first major Indochina border conflict came in 1962, at a time when the world's attention was on the US-Soviet nuclear standoff in Cuba. The two countries fought a month-long war over the high mountains of the Himalayas but did not deploy their air and naval forces, showing some restraint. While the 1962 border conflict was a serious setback to ties, India's Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi's landmark visit in 1988 began a new phase of improved bilateral relations between the two nations. The 1993 Line of Actual Control Agreement on the Maintenance of Peace and Tranquility is also a reflection of the growing stability and substance in relations. Since then, India-China trade has continued to boom crossing $100 billion in 2020. Even amidst a military standoff, trade went up 14% in 2022. The border dispute between the two nuclear powers resurfaced in June 2020, leaving more than 20 soldiers dead on both sides. The two nations have shown restraint not to escalate the situation any further. The December 9 clashes have also de-escalated quickly without any loss of life, with both countries pledging to solve their solutions over dialogue. But there are spoilers. Washington has been trying to push India to join the anti-China or anti-Russia camp for a long time. Up to now, India has not followed Washington's lead when it comes to sanctioning Russia. However, the case with China is different. Although China and India have relatively large trade exchange, the border issues between the two countries has yet to be fully resolved, an issue the US plans to capitalize on for its strategy to contain China. India also hopes to take advantage of US-China rivalries as leverage in resolving the China-India border dispute. It is worth nothing that these two countries account for 35% of the global population and have nuclear weapons. China became the fifth nuclear power in the world in 1964 and India attained nuclear capabilities in 1974. Any major conflict between the two giants would be a disaster for the world. Moreover, China is the world's second biggest economy set to overtake the US and become the world's leading economy by 2030. India overtook its former colonizer, the UK, in 2022 and become the world's fifth largest economy. 
According to S&P, Global and Morgan Stanley, India will overtake Japan and Germany to become the world's third largest economy by 2030. Soaring relations would be catastrophic to their projected growth and the global economy at large. Thus far, both countries have handled their issues in a manner consistent with their ancient civilizations. It would be a favor to themselves and the world if they can resolve their issue without violence. This was our news analysis for the day and thank you very much for staying with us.